It's Gary Parker on the morning show at Wave 105. And since going solo in 1999, my guest has enjoyed two number one singles, six top ten singles, and sold over three million albums. Now, since launching her own record label 12 years ago, she's back with her sixth album version of Me. It's Melanie C. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. It's nice to be back. It yeah, is. Yeah. It's it was good. two, maybe three years ago we last spoke. Yeah. When I did um, I did a single with Matt Cardle, didn't I? Which That's was a right. great song. It was wonderful. It was really good fun working with him. But um, yes, it's about time I'm, I've come back all on me, Todd. All on my own with a new record. Tell us a bit about the work behind the album. Well, I started this album three years ago. I just started quite gently going in, doing a few writing sessions because I've, I've done loads since the last record, which was five years ago, actually, The Sea. I've toured with Jules Holland, which was incredible. I was in an arena tour of Jesus Christ Superstar, which was great. We did that here in the UK. We went over to Australia. And I was also a judge on Asia's Got Talent. So I've been keeping myself busy, but I was really missing my work and my band and my fans and playing live so it really felt like time to get something together and yeah all the songs came and I felt like I wanted to do something a bit different I've always wanted to do a more electronic sounding album okay. and it felt like the time and the songs were really lending themselves to that and I've worked with some new collaborators some younger songwriters and producers and it's helped just make something really special I think I'm really proud of the record as you always are but this one just feels a bit special and I've been getting such lovely reactions as well it's really exciting the fans response as you've just said has been pretty remarkable they're yeah. very excited about mm. this Melanie C comeback obviously mixed in with that there's been the Spice Girls stuff going mm. on as well uh, the 20 year anniversary what What's your take on the Spice Girls reunion? Well, we did reunite in 2007 and 2008 and it was such a great opportunity because all five of us were up for it. You know, we all did it. We had an incredible time. It was a great show. Anyone who saw it, I'm sure you'll agree. We were really proud of the show. And that enabled us to go on and do the Olympics, really. You know, we really got to know each other again. We became really close and it was a really special time. The Olympics was Incredible! It was the pinnacle of being a Spice Girl for a me. A billion people. A billion people were watching. You. That's and incredible. It was just the most amazing experience. I loved every second of it. And after we'd had loads of fun doing that, you know, we got together and Victoria had already said, you know, she kind of felt like that was it for her. She's obviously so successful with her fashion label. Of course. And super busy. And, you know, we totally respect that. But the other four of us were like, you know what, maybe we could do something else you know let's talk about it so we did and we had a few meetings and and as time went by and the 20th anniversary was looming I was in lots of meetings but I, I, something was just bothering me and I just I I kind of felt like after the Olympics being a five piece and doing something so special I just didn't know whether the four of us would be doing the band justice or the fans you know and I made a very difficult decision to to not join the girls Emma Jerry and Melanie will be going on to do something and yeah we, we really support each other because you know we're grown-ups and we're mums so um, they really respect my decision as they I respect theirs and and you know theirs to carry on you did the reunion. Why would people put the pressure on you then to four years later have mm. to get together again? Yeah, it's really hard because, you know, there's, there's a trend, isn't there now? I suppose it's been around for a long time that bands often reform and it's, it's a, it seems like everybody's doing it now and there's always something to celebrate. Um, but I did feel a huge amount of pressure from people to do it and... You know, I think it's really important in life and it's something I probably didn't do enough when I was younger, but you really have to do what's right for you. You can't spend your life pleasing others. And I, I'm a mum now, so I have a huge responsibility. and She's my priority. So, you know, I had to do what I felt was, was the best for me and my family. Did you feel that you'd hit the top, as it were, with being part of a group that obviously helped you become the person you are today? You know, I will always be a Spice Girl. I am so proud. I, I get a little bit frustrated because obviously there's so much speculation in the media and it really upsets me when I see comments, you know, negative comments about me not you know, joining a reunion because I haven't turned my back on the Spice Girls. You know, I'm so proud and I completely embrace my, my past and I'm so proud of it. I know it's not what everybody would want, but, you know, I just 
feel like at my age I should be able to make my own decisions. <laughs> do you think if Victoria had said yes to doing the reunion, yeah. do you think that may have changed your mind? Absolutely. You know, if Victoria's situation was different and she was up for doing it and it was going to be all five of us, I would definitely reconsider. Never say never. <laughs> this is what's how I'm feeling right now. I never thought I'd reunite at all. So in 2007, although I had my reservations, I had no regrets doing it. It was amazing. So... Who knows what the future holds? We shall see. I will keep my fingers crossed that you will eventually do it one day, <laughs> Melanie C. We'll find out. Yeah. We're chatting with Melanie C on Wave 105. We'll chat some more with Mel after we've played one of your classic songs, I Turn To You, which Ooh. was number one in 2000. Yeah, yeah, I remember it well. It was my second number one here in the UK. And uh, yeah, it was a wonderful time. It's, I think this has probably been my most successful song as a solo artist.